Yo, what's up, guys? It's Shady, and today we're here with our Week 5 Battle for the EPA Academy Season 1. This week we're going against Dr. Swanky and his, um, and his, I don't know his team name. That's, um, that's a little unfortunate. But yeah, now that we're done, done through the first four weeks, um, we now have a new draft to use for these middle four weeks, or these second four weeks. So we have a new draft, um, we went 2-2, two and, two, and for the first four weeks with our first draft, I really enjoyed it. The second draft, not so much though. Dr. Slacking is also a very, or like I consider him one of the better coaches in this league. I think he's 2-2, two 3-1, and two, three or one. Um, he's 2-2. Two and two. And his team name was the Bowen Bovines. I know it was the Bovines, but I didn't remember the city, region, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, we're facing Dr. Slacking and the Bowen Bovines, who's also 2-2, two and two, just as us. So this would be a nice win to get um, further above him. Um, let me read you off both of our rosters, because like I said, um, both of us have completely new different teams for this um, these next four weeks that we have are yet to use. So, um, we have a Mega Gallade, a Salamence, a Mamoswine, a Reuniquist, a Vaporeon, a Romatisse, a Lolan Mach, Rotom Moe, Ambipom, Magmortar, and a Klefki, where he has Kieran Black, Scizor, Rotom Wash, Crobat, Gardevoir, Miltank, Mean Shell, Mega Tyranitar, Shaman, Gork, and Blaziken. If you didn't catch all that, should be on the screen, hopefully. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'd put it in the same pod down at the bottom like I did before. Um, but yeah, this is the team that we um, are going to bring against him. First of all, we've got Watermelon, Mega Gallade here. Drain Punch, then Headbutt, Poison Jab, and the Fire Punch. Uh, Jolly, we sped craft. Um, I believe it was a Mean Shell, Speed Creeping, a um, Salamence. So, we have a little bit of an HP investment. Not a ton, but we have we have a little bit. Um, Drain Punch, and then Headbutt, obviously Stab, Ad Runs, and Headbutt for that Crobat. And I think there's something else I had to run it for. Um, I guess not. But Crobat, or Stabs and Headbutt, super effective, would be stronger than just like a nice punch. Just because of the stab boost. So it's in Headbutt, and maybe we can get punches. I choked a Drain Punch over Close Combat because I didn't want the Spit Death Drop, or the Fizz Death Drop more so, because um, if we can keep somewhat healthy and not get that Defense Drop, then we could live a Bullet Punch from a Scizor, which would be nice. Because Scizor is very scary for this team. Put Jeff for that Gardevoir because I could see him bring a Fizz Def Gardevoir with like Wish Support to try to beat out this Mega Gallade. And then Fire Punch for the Mega Scizor. Not Mega Scizor, the regular Scizor. The only model we really can't hit too hard is Rotom. But still, Rotom, if we chip it down, doesn't appreciate two Trent, uh, two Zen Headbutts. So yeah, that's our Mega Gallade. We got London, the Magmortar. I couldn't think of a better name for this. Um, so if you have a nickname suggestion, leave it down. Um, with the Modest Flame Body, with the Fireium Z, Fire Blast, Focus Blast, Solar Beam, and Sunny Day. Um, minus any, um, you know, some Scarfers, like, if you were to bring Scarf Kirim, uh, Scarf, I don't think you'd bring Scarf Crobat, um, but that, Scarf Mean Shell, yeah, so Scarf Kirim Blast, Scarf Mean Shell, and I guess Scarf Shaman, I don't think you would, but, there's that. There's the only one spawn that would feed me after a Z Sunny Day. And even if we want, don't want to go for the Z Sunny Day, a Z Fire Blast is definitely going to hurt anything on his team. But only. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, Fire Blast, Focus Blast, Solar Beam. Plan to get the plus one speed with the Sunny Day and uh, break a hole through his team. Um, a few of his mons can take the Fire Blast. But if we just get even the tiniest chip on some of these mons, like Kiram needs a little bit of chip. Uh, Rotom Wash can take the Solar Beam, um, but obviously, I think, like, if we get Rocks up, which we don't have Rocks on this team, but, like, theoretically, like, that's all the chip we would need to kill off his death. Rotom Wash with our Solar Beam, um, Crobat dies, Gardevoir probably takes one, Miltank probably take one. Like, we need a little bit of chip on his team, and, uh, Mega Motors putting in the work. Modest, I don't remember what we speed crept. I want to say, like, no speed Rotom Wash, maybe? 
or like 12 speed rotom mosh and then him speed creeping that so we sped crept him doing that so that's why we're able to run modest uh, I'm not really sure I know we do speed a crowbat though um, after this so that's good so yeah that's our uh, mag mortar set we got a fizz death AV reuniclus here uh, with psychic focus blast hidden power fire and shadow ball this is mainly here for the Kiram. If he's physically defensive, or if he's physically offensive, well, he's going to be mixed probably. But if he has the attack investment over the special attack investment, then we can take the outrages and ice beam pretty well. And vice versa, so he can still take the ice beam and the outrage. Probably will have to watch out for Z moves. But yeah, um, this moveset hurts his team pretty well. I wanted to run energy ball for the Rotom, but um, this is kind of what I have to used to deal with um, a defensive guard of if he brings it so I needed pack shadow ball on it so yeah that's uh, our uniclus we got the Klefki here it's also physically defensive for that mega time Randitar, uh mainly so you could also help with the mean shell uh, that's really about it oh I guess the crowbat too um, but yeah we're bold with the prankster flash cannon thunder wave recycle defog defog I really like hazards out of my uh, out of the place here, because hazards would ship down my team, and Mega Scizor would have a rampage even more than it already does. Um, recycle to get our Aguaf Berry back, and Thunder Wave to slow down things like the Kiram, the Scizor, the Crobat, the Mean Shell. There's a f bunch of things that I would really like being slowed, um, and then Flash Cannon just to attack uh, the thing in front of me, which would be the Mega Guard. War, not Mega Gardevoir, the Gardevoir, or the Tyranitar, because that's what's probably could switch in this to Gardevoir. So yeah, that's our um, Klefki answer, or not a Klefki answer, that's our Klefki. Here we have uh, another Fizz Def Mon, we got Vaporeon with Scald Roar, Wish Protect, Wish obviously to keep my uh, Reuniclus and Klefki healthy. Um, Gold just to get some Chip and Roar in case Mega Tyranitar tried to set up on us. Um, so yeah. That's this set. And we got Salamence. I also need a Salamence. You know, I couldn't think of anything better. So Salamence is the best we could do. Jolly Intimate with the Charty Berry, Dragon Claw, Fire Fang, Iron Tail, and Roost. Um, I decided to kind of bring up more like kind of bulky attacker Salamence because um, the Intimidate would be nice for the Scizor. Because that Scizor, like I said, is very scary. Dragon Claw, Fire Fang, Iron Head, Roost. He only loses the Fire Fang if he's Aka Berry or if he's defensive, but if he's more defensive, then the Bullet Punch didn't hurt too much, and we should be able to get the Roost off and keep it going. Charty Berry is hopefully for lore for Mega Tyranitar, and we get a, a big Iron Tail off on him. Um, so yeah, that, that's that. Um, that's the team we're bringing. I guess his or like I said, has a fun time against my team. So, we're not Mega Scizor. I keep saying Mega Scizor, just the regular Scizor has a fun time against the team. Um, yeah, Kiram, kind of annoying. Shaman also has a fun time against my team, so I'm really hoping no Shaman. But yeah, that's the team we're bringing. Hopefully everything works out, and I should be live commenting this, so I should hopefully see you guys in the battle. So we're here in the battle with Dr. Slacking. Pretty nervous right now. Um, like I said, I'm really not a fan of this team I drafted. And even just the matchup makes me even more like certain, like, damn. I really didn't draft too good of a team, huh? Um, but you know, we're still gonna try to pull it out here. We actually have battled Dr. Slacking before. It was a while back, though. Um, like, almost a year ago. And uh, we lost. It was a close match. I remember getting in game swept. That's all I remember though. But, uh, you know, we're not gonna let that change anything. We're still gonna try to beat him right here. Um, let's hope everything works out. His team is already ready. Let me make this smaller. I don't need it that big. Um,. So his team he brought was Blaziken. Dude, no shame and fuck. Yes. Crobat. Gardevoir, which is probably gonna be defensive support. Gardevoir. Scizor. Mean Shell. And Q. 
here on Black. Um, so, I like my lead. Of just Vaporeon. Worst case, who leads here in black? Uh, okay. Let's go with that. Um, Artitonus and DMs on Discord. Stay right here, though. Good look, have fun. Um, the things we didn't see, we didn't see the Rotomosh, meaning that that Gardevoir is 100% our, uh, the go eight switch in. Um, No Mega Tyranitar, that's nice, so I don't think there's actually any hazards on his team. Um, okay, that's good. You love this. Um, man, no Shaman. I'm so happy about no Shaman, dude. That thing had a field day on this team. Um, so, I think. Just, I think we just scald. Worst thing he does here is like, is he solar beam? Or I guess he could use the thunder punch. I'm just gonna protect this guy. What he does? Damn it! I knew I should have scalded that uh, guard one. He's gonna trace my water absorb. Oh, okay. So it wouldn't have mattered if I had scalded. But he knows we have protect now. Um, so Scarvar is trace. That's good to write down so we don't forget that. Um, he's pro. I'm pretty sure he's physically defensive. I'm gonna go into my um, my Nicholas here. I don't see any reason not to. Arena Quest is going to come in here. Uh, he's going to go for the Moonblast here. How much is Gardevoir taken? Or how much is Arena Quest taken? That kind of did a decent amount. Uh, I know I'm not, like, especially with Fincent, I know I'm just, like, uh, so fast. But, like, I feel like I'm still doing a good amount. Yeah, I did. That did 35% to me. It's like a high roll at a max special attack set. Modest. Shadow Ball should be doing around half if he has no attack investment. I'm just gonna Shadow Ball. He's gonna withdraw, go into his red scissor. Damn. So he went straight into scissor. So they're taking about 25%. We get this Bidef drop. Doesn't really matter too much at the moment. Because I'm not staying in on this thing. No. I think I'm crazy. Uh, so let me write down Moonblast on that Gardevoir. And he probably expects the Calm Mind. Um, so we're switching to the Scizor. Get the Salamence. 100%. We'll find out here what his uh, scissor wants to do. Oh, he's pursuit. Oh my god. I was like, why am I not switching now? I thought, like, my DS lagged or something. Wow, that's, uh, that's good tech. I'll give him that. Um, so I want that. Uh, Rena Quest. That was good tech, dude. I'll give him that one. Um, so we've done three, he did brought down sixty five. So he did sixty two with the pursuit, which would be like Pursuit. I don't know how you calc pursue a technician if I'm swapping. Maybe this calc has a sixty base power move. He did like sixty three to me. Yeah, I don't know how I'd calc that. Um, 
Close switch in here is one hundred percent Gardevoir, so I'm gonna click the Iron Tail. I'm gonna predict that swap. Cool. Come on, land it. Land it, land it, land it. Need you to land, dude. Oh I didn't think about that. He is gonna trace my intimidate. But it still give me Cool. That thing is weak now, man. Let's go. I don't want to risk this thing being scarfed. That's a problem. Mm. He looks Moonblast here. We could go into London. We could take two, I think. What happens if I click Sea Sunny Day here? Scarf Mean Shell, maybe? He does still have the potential Scarf Mean Shell in the back. So maybe I wouldn't click that just yet. I'm going London. Um, we're gonna click the 25% though with that Shadow Ball. So that's definitely like a max HP Sizzler. Pursuit. Um, and he's like at 75%. This Gardevoir just took an Iron Tail to the face. And now it's like a 15%. Gonna click Moonblast here. We should be able to take it. Not as good as I would have liked. Um, my switching to this is probably Blaziken. Oh, I kind of know. Do just we can just fire blast. So we don't have a reason not to. In my opinion. I have a reason not to. <sighs> Glad we made that Iron Tail play though. That Gardevoir is weak now. Um, we don't want to risk him being Scarf, so we did Swamp. Um, Mag, Mortar. Last one, 10 to 103. That's not what I wanted to calc though. I wanted to calc the Salamence Iron Tail damage. Iron Tail at minus 20. He's going to swap probably into Blaziken. No. Into Karen Black. Terrible. Landed. Cool. Damn, imagine if I set up the Z Sunny Day. Thing is, we do not have a switch into this anymore. Um, he probably clicks Earth Power here. Or he clicks Dragonium Z. Earth Power, Dragonium Z. Do we need Reuniclus anymore? Not really. I think he clicks Simu, but. I think it clicked Dragonium Z here. No, I don't know. I'm just gonna sack Reuniclus. I don't think we really need it, anyways. He either clicks Earth Power or Dragonium Z here. I'm not really sure which one, though. Dragon Claw, okay. He killed me. He's life orb. So he doesn't even drag have Dragonium Z. Um meaning that we could go here into Salamence. I'm gonna go to Mega Go I think though. Uh Salamence would bait in. Salamence doesn't really bait in anything. What if we don't have speed though? What if we don't have speed though? I know I did some weird spe uh, speed creeping. Okay.
I'm just gonna go into Megalade. It's fine. Um, so yeah, here we go, and we're just gonna click the fire punch here in case you have to go into Scizor. I also want to click Zen Headbutt. I'm going to click Zen Headbutt. In case he's like bulky bat and he's going to switch that in. Now he's going to let this thing go down. Fainted. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get the kill here. Uh, Renekless went down. Kieran Black went one and one. Karen Black kills Reuniclus via Dragon Claw. He brings in Crobat here 100%. Uh, Mega Gallade kills Kiram Black via via Zen Headbutt. Okay. Um. here. I'm pretty sure that's Garp Mean Shell. Which sucks because I really want to go with the Z Sunny Day. Gonna U turn. If anything, I thought he was gonna taunt. Just predicting my swamp, but guess not. U turn. Where's he going to here? Please again? Yeah. Um. I, I still have, feel like in the back of my mind is Z Solar Beam. So I'm gonna try to scout for that. Or just Z move for my Vaporeon to break it. So I'm gonna scout for that. Uh, this next turn. I click and protect. An SD. Meaning that he's Electrium Z 100%. Um, we don't really have a switch into, unfortunately. I would have loved to go Salamence on the Z Solar Beam, but he set up the SD. So I'm gonna go for the Protect here, as he hopefully clicks Thunder Punch. Z Thunder Punch, I should say. He does, cool. Oh no, he clicked Fire EMZ. Okay. Blaziken, SD. So he's like jolly probably then. Judging that damage. Um so he was S D and I can only assume before but and he had fire um Z. How much is he doing with the Thunder Punch here? Jesus. I'm gonna roar. It's gonna hide jump kick. That's gonna hurt me. That just killed straight up? 87. High jump kick. Yeah, that kills. The way just comes in here. 
Your kills, right? Yeah, I just killed the Zen headbutt. We just click Zen headbutt here. H J K one. I assumed I lived it, but guess I shouldn't have. A Blaziken kills a Porion via high jump kick. Gonna withdraw. Probably. Uh, that's not what I expected at all. Just click fire punch here. Gonna bullet punch me. I should live this. Jesus. I am thinking that was bandit though. Um so Wiz can kill Vaporeon. Uh he probably goes. I oh know he can go right into Crobat again. Yeah, and then Mega Mega Glade kills. Um, kills Scizor via Bullet Punch. All in one. Picked up a second kill. Because in my eyes, I don't think the bullet punch damage matters anymore. Crobat always outfeeds me and gets the hit off. We always outfeed the Blaziken. We always outfeed the Gardevoir. We just kill every single. Because Crobat outspeeds us and kills us with Bird anyways. So we don't really need the HP on that. Um, he's Black Sludge. Gardevoir, we just kill so we don't need to take a hit. Same with Blaziken, we don't need to take a hit. We outspeed both of those and just kill. Mean Shelf, the only iffy one. But maybe we can get a Drain Punch off on something. Although, nothing on his team. Like, mine's a Drain Punch. I'm gonna Thunder Wave here, though. Nothing on his team appreciate this Thunder Wave. You going to Guard, probably? No, he's gonna go to Blaziken. Okay, this thing is now paralyzed. Uh, switching to this, we could go mint. Meh, I don't know about that one. Uh, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna go to mint actually. No, I don't know what to play. You probably click Stone Edge here, but there's no point in staying in. It's whatever. We need to get the pair on that mean shell and Crobat, if anything. I could see him clicking Stone Edge here a million percent. Yep. Okay. That's unfortunate. Because I would have liked that, because I guarantee you that it's a Scarf mean shell in the back with Stone Edge. But, um, we have no reason not to click Dragon Claw here. Just to get damage off. Do my new looking Stone Edge too? Probably could go on to Gallade. Slash. I'm pretty sure that's a Scorpion Shell though. Um,. Could I lose a stone edge? I think I'm only like at 40 something HP. 28% is what that'd be. I'm gonna switch into Gardevoir here. I'm gonna trace the Intimidate. That's actually kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Um. So I'm 
I'm just gonna go for the fire fink here and kill. Fire fink should kill. If it doesn't, that's a problem. I'm not. I already clicked it though. I'm not gonna calc it. I'm just gonna let it happen. If he doubles, good play. Just now minus one. So pretty much anything can take a minus one dragon claw and fire fink and threaten me. Salamence. Yep, exactly. Um, okay. So, Salamence here. Don't got the Charty anymore. And he doesn't have a Timbe anymore. Or isn't this Boisekin? Uh, he's still at plus two. Why? Stone Edge, we're at 138. He's at 89. Or no, we're at 138. Whoopsie. 138. We're at 76. So it's a roll in his favor to kill us here. We're at minus one. Fire painted at 11%. So 45. We probably don't kill with two Dragon Claws. But we could stall him out of stone edges here. Although he could easily get a crit. 49. I'm just gonna stay in here. And just roost. Try to stall him out of stone edges or something. That's when it's no longer super effective against us. Yeah, you got the crit there. I guess I'm going to guard. Would we even kill with the minus two fire thing at that point? Oh, what if he had jump kicked? Oh, that would be a problem if he had jump kicked. Jesus, we are misplaying right here. Uh, I'm just gonna sack Salamence. I really don't need it too much anymore. I'm gonna get the Dragon Claw. Get down to about 45. He's gonna land. I don't think we live this. Um. So blaze the can kill Salamence via high jump kick. Megale, no, not Megale. Salamence is down to death. Blaze can get the second kill. So we could go into London here. If we go into London on Magmortar, we can Fire Blast and kill this thing. I'd probably click the Z just to be safe. Well, actually, we could click Focus Blast. I'd probably click the Z, though, just so I don't miss. And then we kill it. He goes into Minshell. And we're getting a guaranteed pair on either the Crobat or the Mean Shell. Okay, I think that's the play. We go into here. We go into London. And we kill this thing. With the Fire Urium Z. Um. Oh, what if he stacks Guard? Maybe we can still kill this thing with a Focus Blast. I'm just clicking Fire MC because I don't want to miss. But if he goes in like Crobat or Minchow on this Fire MC, that'd be even better. But let's say we kill this thing. Then he goes Crobat or Minchow. We stack this. We go into Clap Key. And we get the para off on any of them. 
if he swaps into Gardevoir with his Flash Cannon the next turn. We get a Thunder Wave off as we love to hit from anything. And then from there... Yeah, I don't know if we can win this. I think I need him to either go Hard Crow or Mean Chow here. Unless that Mean Chow isn't Scarf, but I, I have a good feeling it's Scarfed. What's he gonna do here? We should have gone into. Should have gone to go lead here. Gone for the drain punch, get some HP back. Gonna let this thing go down. Mag Mortar kills. Blaziken via Z Fire Blast. Sounds up the Blaziken. That thing was a lot scarier than I expected. Um, so what do you go for here? Well, what does he do here? There could also be a Scarf Gardevoir. He's going to go into this. He probably clicks HJKO. We have to just let this go down. Quick Fire Blast. Gonna land. Kill us. Okay. Do we have any idea what's up with this set? Based off that high jump kick damage. 68, no. Um, so we're going to this. And he goes guard here. So I'm clicking flash cannon. Eh, he could not go guard. Yeah, we have speed if we get the thing wheel off on it. I'm gonna click under it. I'm pretty sure this thing's scarfed. He missed. That's unfortunate, man. That's honestly really unfortunate. 50% and he's used HJK one, or no, twice. Pretty sure this thing's scarfed. Damn, I really wish I was running Dazzling Gleam now. Can we live this? A jump kick? In Shao versus Clucky. I feel like we can. That's not if he's reckless, though. If he's reckless. Uh, R, R, R. Reckless. We live it. Would he be in a glow berry range then? 127. 55. Yeah. If he was reckless, we'll be in a glow berry. He probably still outspeeds us here. He gets paired though. This is unfortunate hacks. This is hacks I was expecting more, honestly, like with the Blaze again. Blaze again was paired like forever. So I'm pretty surprised to see it now. That's just really unfortunate, man. That's uh, really unfortunate. Honestly, we may have just won because of that. Eh. I don't actually know. Because based on the, my mean shell calcs, if he was Reckless Jolly... Oh, that's without any attack. Why is there no attack of mean shell? What are y'all running in UU? We lived it. I think Clefky would have been able, just with the high jump kick miss, or like one pair to beat the mean shell. I would have been able to live... Got the recycle off and then beat the crowbat, or at least get it thunder waved. I think.
Klefki beat Minchow just barely with either a pair or a high jump kick if I stalled it out long enough. And so I could at least live the Crobat and then get the Paralysis on it. And then if we got the Paralysis on the Crobat, we'd at least win, or we'd win from there. So, all that hacked right there, the two pairs and the high jump kick miss all in a row, that was very unfortunate. I didn't expect that. But I think we only needed one to win. Obviously, we got all of them. But we, we only need the one to win. Klefki kills. Is that I'm called Mean Shell via I via flash cannon. Mean Shell. Um. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was scarfed. Yeah, because they don't spell us even after it was paired, so that's definitely scarfed Mean Shell. Um. It's gonna go into Crobat here. We just click Thunder Wave because even if you like, it goes into Gardevoir and the Thunder Wave, we will speed it and Flash Cannon it. With the, we're gonna miss the Thunder Wave, which is like I guess fair enough. Um, how much is he doing here? Doing about thirty. We need this pair though. Brave Bird. And he's black. Sludge. And he's paired. Um. See, that was really unfortunate what happened. Um. I mean. Like I said, I think I only needed one pair of. Or high jump kick miss. I think really just the high jump kick miss was all I really needed there. Uh, if he was reckless, oh, sorry about that. If y'all heard that, um, if he was rec, or if he wasn't reckless, if he was region, we could definitely stall it out with the Aqua Berry Recycle. Um, Whereas, Jay's gonna taunt me, which is fine by me. I could easily, like, um, recycle and try to get the 2 0, but I think there's a good chance this thing has roost. And, uh, I'm not gonna sit here while it roosts. I'll let my Klefki go down just to end this game quicker. Um, but, um, uh, Yeah, I think after the high jump kick miss, I won because the two kills flash cannon. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think how it would play out. Miss the high jump kick. Hear that half. I thunder waved it. He had jump kicked again. I lived. My goal very popped, and I flash cannon. I think I lived another high jump kick even after that. It depends whether he was reckless or not. Um, and I killed the second flash cannon. And then from there, I think I would have been low enough though at that point, where if he was smart enough, um, which I think he is, I think Doctor Slant King's a a good bad order. From there, I would have been weak enough to where he should go into Gardevoir and just Moonblast, because I should die to that. Well, no, 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 no. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, I killed the Mean Shell. I'm, like, at maybe, like, 5%, 10% without my, uh, my Guav Berry. From there, um, from that point, um... From that point, uh, if he went into Crobat here, I just thunder waved and just made this uh, this cycle of turns here of me just letting myself go down. Um, so that I can go into Mega Gawade and win. 
Oh, what if that's a scarf? <laughs> Dude, that's a scarf uh, Gardevoir in the back. That's actually a problem. Dude, I didn't think about that. That's a scarf Gardevoir in the back. That's a problem. I didn't think about that. Ooh, he could still win this. Um, if he scarf Gardevoir. Um, so we might have to play around that. Motorcycle. Um, but yeah, let's say he wasn't Scarf Guard uh, I, I keep like getting sidetracked. So we we he missed high jump kick. We kill two flash cannons. We live the high jump kicks. We're living at like ten percent, even less probably. And we don't have our eye pop or our, our guav berry. If he goes crowbat here, the same cycle of turns happens. Um, we let ourselves go down. We go into our mega Gallade and. Um, we just sweep if he was at Scarf Gardevoir. Um, if he went into Gardevoir though over um, over this Crobat, I would just go for the Recycle. And then some Prankster obviously, I would get the Guava Beard right away, get back up to full, or not full, to like 50-60%. And I'd be able to take the Moonblast I think at that point. And then I would be able to kill it once I felt healthy enough uh, to live the Brave Bird. So, I, we win here if he's not Scarf Gardevoir, but I am not going to play on the, uh, and then him just be Scarf Gardevoir and kill me. Yeah, he does like 26 to 31 with the, with the thing. So yeah, that might be Scarf Gardevoir on the back now that I think about it. So... We are gonna at some point have to make um, a swap into our um, a Golade to kill this thing, just so that my cleft key can come in, take a hit, and get the T wave off on the off chance that is scarf. Because now that I'm thinking about it, um, if he is scarf, that'd be a problem. Don't roost here. That's a pedestrian drop. Oh, about time. That might have just helped us though win the game. That might have just helped us win the game. I really hope he wasn't Scarf Gardevoir. I'm not going to ask him now because that could still end up mattering. Because if he wasn't Scarf Gardevoir, then that Spit Death drop there didn't matter at all. That was a crit. Um. But if he was Scarf, that speed death drop may have mattered because he's right now capable of PP stalling me pretty well. So, and then it would have been a 50 50 at some point for me to um, get in my Gallade when he isn't Brave Birding, which is what I was currently on track to do. Which he would have to roost right here. Um, in which case, I'd go into Mega Gallade now. But now that we got the speed death drop, I'm just comfortable staying in here and just clicking flash cannon to go because I'm pretty sure we kill now. But yeah, I really hope he wasn't Scarf Guard of War because in which case that spadef drop mattered a bit. It made it to where I wouldn't have had to have gone for the 50-50 here because I think I just kill. Um, I've also fired like 8 flash cannons off so I mean at some point I was going to get it. I think I've actually fired more than 8 off. So, yeah, I fired two on the mean shot. I think I'm at six out of 16. So, I'd be, yeah, I think I fired eight um, on this thing. So, I was going to get it soon, but statistically. But nonetheless, getting it kind of unfortunate for him. The two pairs sucked. Although, his Blazes can didn't get parried or um, missed a high jump kick or anything. So, I guess, like, like kind of like Blazes can pass on the hacks. It may have probably gotten just statistically it should have like probably shouldn't have landed a move or nothing that entire exchange when it was alive and scaring the hell out of my team but um nonetheless the fact that he got hacks was definitely unfortunate there we killed that wasn't a crit 
Okay, good. So that looks like the game, um, I believe. Um, fainted. Clef key. Killed. Crobat via flash cannon. Just gonna get my prankster. We don't even need click thunder. We can just click flash cannon here. Oh, what if he's okay? Okay, so what if he's HP fire? That sure is actually still gonna hurt them. Okay, we're still gonna live with them. Gonna get this bedep drop. Doesn't matter though. We're gonna kill her with the flash cannon, and that's the game. He, I wonder if he could have locked himself in HP fire there. Um. Fire. It may have killed my Clef key. It feels like Modest Scarf. It def I think it did. Um, versus our Gallade. I think we we're like at 43 or something like that. HP. Um, in which case, he would have needed a high roll with Modest. I think he would have needed two Modest. I rolled to kill with HP fire. Oh no, no. Never mind, I'm stupid. He didn't kill unless he had a crate HP fire on our regular aid. If we were, because I think we we're somewhere in the 40s. But yeah, that's uh, that's game two, Dr. Slanking. That was definitely unfortunate that he was um, with that mean shell. But like I said, I think we were fine. If he wasn't scarfed. Okay, like I said earlier, um, that jump kick miss definitely mattered. Um, but after I had jump kicks, the two pairs weren't necessary. Um, because we lived the two high jump kicks, thanks to the Aguav Berry, and we killed two flash cannons. Um, and from there, we could go into Gardevoir, or he would go into Gardevoir, and then we could recycle up and get back up to full. Or he would go into Crobat, and that same exchange would happen right there. Um, the Bedep drop was definitely unfortunate though, um, because Mayotori didn't have to like make a 50-50 if that was a Scarf Gardevoir, I'm really not sure if that was a Scarf Gardevoir or not. Um, I could actually ask him, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to finish this up. Um, so yeah, the Bedep drop and the high jump kick miss definitely mattered a lot, so that's definitely unfortunate. But anyways, uh, that's game. GG, I guess. Uh, slacking. We move on to 3-2 and two with this team uh, against him. He goes down to 2-3, and three, so definitely not the end of the world for him. Um, but I don't think that's definitely how we wanted to start his um, week with the second draft here. Um, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe below for more League content. Um, I'm also in an LP. I'm, uh, it probably hasn't gone up yet. But it should be going up soon on a friend channel. I'm going to be with him and a bunch of other people. Really fun. Make sure to check out uh, that. If it's in the description and it's already started uploading, it's down there. Um, so, yeah. Next week, we go up against uh, the Seattle Sandstorms and Coach Obo, Good friend of mine. Uh, recently, not doing too hot in this, uh, in this draft right now. But we do not underestimate people, and his team is kind of scary if I remember correctly. I think he has like Fatini, Skarmory, uh, with like Webs, um, like Mega Venusaur, I think, is on there. Like, it's just a pretty scary team overall. So, we're not going to underestimate him. We'll see you guys next week with that battle. I'm going to try to like, comment as much as I can, just because it requires less editing and recording on me. So, I hope you guys do enjoy when I do like, Um But, anyways, I would thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, um, this has been Shady. I'm out. Peace.